Honorable member for Calgary, Nose Hill. I stand with Kim McInnes in Dartmouth, who had to take five days off of work to wait for her toddler's COVID results. The best that this guy can do is stammer through his minister's talking points that lose something in translation from Beijing. He sat by and did nothing while the Liberals sent precious masks to other countries while our doctors went without. Disgusting. Why is the Prime Minister costing Canadians their lives and their jobs? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the Honourable Member for the question. Mr. Speaker, from day one, this government has been a partner with provinces and territories. We've invested heavily in ensuring that provinces like my province of Nova Scotia have the money to ramp up the capacity that they need. Mr. Speaker, my daughter had a test in Nova Scotia and she had her test results back in eight hours. Mr. Speaker, we have done we have done great things with the provinces and territories, and we have an unprecedented level of cooperation and collaboration with these provinces and territories. And, Mr. Speaker, I want to thank those folks in the provinces and territories for working with the government. But we've made federal investments, Mr. Speaker, to help with that. The Honourable Member for Calgary knows Hill. That's great. Liberals get their test results in hours, but Kim McInnes has to wait for five days her, for her kids. That's how this works with this government. A contract for Frank Bayliss and special test results for the parliamentary secretary. You know what? This government needs to start standing with regular Canadians. They're the ones that are making the sacrifice. Right. The only sacrifice the Prime Minister has made is Bill Morneau. He is costing Canadians their lives and their jobs. When is he going to get his act together and when are Canadians going to see a plan? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Well, Speaker, we've used science and we've used evidence to drive the Canadian response to this. What you will see on the other side of this House, Mr. Speaker, is you will see people that would, if they were in these positions on this side of the bench, they would make those decisions for scientists. They would make those decisions. They'd say, I'm sorry, if you're not at the stage yet where you can approve this, Mr. Speaker, we, th across the way, they would rubber stamp that just because it makes good political sense. Honourable Member for Cowichan, Malahat, 